I've always really wanted to do a backflip. I've never been able to do one standing up, so uh, I guess let's try. <laughs> First try, backflip. At this point, it's pretty clear that I am in no way capable of completing a standing backflip. But with just four hours of training, I went from this flailing mess to completing the perfect standing backflip. And here's how I did it. I continued that first bit of training by psyching myself out a decent amount and finally attempting a backflip with terrible form, which just resulted in me hurting my back. I really hurt my back. I feel like I need to do more research before I go any further. So that's exactly what I did. I watched numerous videos from people much more experienced that were able to show exactly how to properly do a backflip, which is how I learned that what I was doing was completely wrong. But before perfecting my form, I wanted to know that I was capable of jumping high enough. After realizing that I did indeed have the ability to jump high enough, the next step was perfecting my form. I decided it was a good idea to get a soft surface to practice on in order to build my confidence and help keep me from injuring myself. I'm really hoping that this helps me get over the fear of falling and breaking my neck or my legs. The biggest lesson is just have a spotter, you guys. Don't be like me, don't be stupid, get a spotter. So all the tutorials I saw basically told me to bend my knees down to about here, have my arms behind me, launch up, throw my arms up as high as I can, keep my eyes forward, tuck my legs, start the rotation, and when I'm upside down, then release and land. I guess. Yeah, I hope this works. After a decent amount of psyching myself out and many more failed attempts, I finally convinced my body to get over the fear and to follow the instructions of those more experienced than myself. I'm not jumping straight up. I'm not keeping my eyes forward. There's so many things wrong with my form and somebody that knows how to do a backflip is watching this video and saying, you idiot, you're doing it all wrong. But I, I, I am getting closer. You have to admit that. I'm definitely getting closer. My form is getting better and I just need to keep practicing. So, so let's see if I can. What? Yes! I did it. I did it. I can't believe I just did it. I can't believe I just did it. Backflip. I'm gonna do a few more. I'm ugh, so pumped, you guys. And even though that initial bit of success felt amazing, I was unable to recreate it, and I decided it was time to rest before attempting again. And after rewatching the film, I actually found several errors in my form. This led to a lot of self doubt. Honestly, I really feel like quitting right now. I just like haven't been able to recreate that backflip and. I have like a ton of self-doubt. I feel like it might be best if I stop now rather than continue and potentially injure myself. Uh, it sucks, it really sucks. I thought I was gonna be able to do it. At this point, I really did feel like quitting. The pressure of completing the challenge didn't seem great enough to risk my own well-being. Nonetheless, I decided that I better give it one more go. And with that, give it everything I've got. Although I landed one, I need to focus on continuing to let my arms get up and then driving my knees because I'm not, I'm not tucking enough. So uh, let's try a few more. There we go. There we go. There we go. Let's go. I've always wanted to do one, and now I've done one. Oh, I'm just so pumped. I'm still so stoked that I was able to complete the backflip, and I did a couple more afterwards just to make sure that it wasn't a fluke. If you guys like this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Go watch my most recent video, Training Like The Rock, for 30 days. I think you'll really like it. And of course, subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace, y'all.